How do you build and nurture an email list so that prospects become clients without having to rely on the social media platform? There's two things you need to do business in 2022, 2023 onwards. If you're selling any sort of intellectual property, first of all, you need to have packaged the intellectual property. That's about framework. The second thing that you're gonna need is the time, focus and energy of your potential clients because without the time, focus and energy, it's very difficult to let them know that you know what you're talking about. And if you know you need to show, and if you want to prove you can help someone, the most powerful way to prove that you can help somebody is by actually helping them. But it's very difficult to prove you can help somebody if you can't get their time, focus, and energy. So it's it's kind of that paradox. How do we get their time, focus, and energy when the social media platforms are pushing all these TikTok-style videos, you're competing in the feeds with the noise, we had the pandemic, the great resignation. Now, arguably, we're about to have a bit of um, up and down in the, the economy. So what do you do? You build an email list. If you've got one email every week for the next 52 weeks, that would be 52 people on the email list. I mean, there's going to be a client in there. If you've got 10, 520, if you got 20 a week, you're talking over 1,000 prospects who you very easily have their time, focus, and energy, and you're insulated from the ups and downs of whatever goes on in the world. There's three things you need to do with that list, three stages we're going to go through today. And the first thing you want to do is you want to do an introductory email that always asks for a call. Let me explain. Any there's always a small percentage of any given market statistically that's looking to buy now and consistently over the years hundreds millions of emails we've seen that first email consistently bring in calls now the key thing here is to be nuanced don't barge down the door like a bull in the proverbial china shop say oh book a call you want to just say hey welcome to the community because we're all building communities we're all by building communities of like-minded individuals who know like and trust us welcome to the community here is what we do on this list we will give you information A, B, and C to solve problem one, two, three. And by the way, if you'd like to get to know us more, here's the opportunity to book a link. But by the way, you don't need to do that. We're also adding A, B, C, and one, two, three, so that you grow your business and reach the outcome that you need. It's like when we, we, we were trained as managers. I don't know if anyone was in corporate. You were always taught to deliver bad feedback as a sandwich. What's that mean? The sandwich delivers some good feedback, then the bad feedback, then finish on and up because it just helps humans feel better. And since email is also dealing with humans, why not go to the foundational principles? And that's what I found best in an email. That's your introductory email phase one. The phase two, don't ask for anything. <laughs> don't ask for anything for two months. Give value, 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 value in a way that works for you in a way you're good at because the most powerful way to show that you can help somebody is by actually helping them. And I found that 99% of people, you know, won't do anything with it, but you only need that 0.1% to buy and you are rocking and rolling. I mean, if I look at my list, I mean, we convert 1% a month and we've got a very solid business that allows me to live in freedom. I don't need many clients. And so all I do is I just concentrating on adding value. For me, that's doing video. For you, it might be adding doing blog posts, it might be writing, or it might be doing audio, it might be podcast, it doesn't really matter as long as you're, you find that mechanism to help them. Then, once people know, like, and trust you and believe that you can help them, you want to have a conversion event that you do every two months. We do a five-day workshop, we've got a one to kick off actually, very soon. We have in the past done Q&A sessions, one-hour webinars, and anything where you're getting live in real-time interaction with the people that are on your list is what your conversion-based mechanism should be because real-time interaction allows you to build a relationship and if you know you need to show and look some people say oh i don't want to speak to them i don't know if i want to sell i i think the important thing is here is is to realize when we do this conversion mechanism selling isn't something we do to two people it's something we do for people to help them everything i do in the business and that i'm explaining right here is designed and framed around helping people and if i can interact in two-way dialogue that puts me a long way ahead of tiktok videos if i get someone we, we can easily get 10 people every week on a q a more 20 sometimes we do a q a every week 30 people at the moment, right? But even if we were to not put in a lot of effort, 10 people, 10 people for 45 minutes, cumulatively, how many minutes of time exposure is that? 10 times 40, I'm not gonna do the math, but it's over 400. How many one minute TikTok videos would it take you to get that over a year? So do that conversion event, do that, 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 um, that invitation to two-way dialogue and you will have an excellent email nurture sequence. 
Check this video here to get people off LinkedIn and check this video here. I haven't decided which one I put up, but I know it'll be relevant. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care.